coached guys. Um, and, you know, every year some leave and, and, and others step up in their place, which is, uh, you know, just a testament to their depth and, and all the talent that they have. Kyler, when you're watching film, I know you went, up, you went against, I guess, Shane Ray and Marcus Golden last year. They had Michael Sam and Cody Lee before. Do you, when you're watching film of Paris and some of the other guys, are you kind of amazed that they keep cracking these guys out every year? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's just a testament in their deep line room, that, you know, the leadership that's going on there and the, um, the standard that they hold each other to. Um, I'm sure that uh, Harris learned all he could from those other guys and uh, saw it as his opportunity to step up, which is which is what he did, and he's having a really good season. I feel like this year, you know, y'all offensive line is maybe more equipped to handle the, the physical play and, and, and tougher to handle what they have. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, this year um, we're definitely a better offensive line than we were in years past, and um, you know. We're more in sync. We know what we're doing. We're not, you know, so inexperienced as we were last year. Um, so I feel like it'll be, it'll be different in that way. Um, it won't, it won't just be, you know, um, their front four running around, running all over us. So uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping that you know our experience and, and our know-how will really help us. Kyler, is it in your mind that they've had your number the, every time you played them? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you always want to get that off the back. You know, this year when. We, we finally won versus Georgia. It was a huge relief. I uh, never beat Georgia. So um, it's definitely the same thing. It's just, you know, if a team's been beating you, you really want to get that get that off you before you leave here. So that's really what I'm trying to do. There have been some times when you had to play young offensive linemen on the road. But do you feel like they've held up pretty well? That they've been pretty cool, calm, and collected in those environments? Yeah, definitely. And I think it's just, you know, the standard that we hold ourselves to in the offensive line room, you know. Um, we always say, you know, you're a snap away from, from getting in there, so you got to be prepared no matter what. I mean, that's all we – everyone gets the same test that we go into. You know, everyone is held to the same standard during practice, during games, um, to be able to hold it down on their side and, and do their job and not have mistakes. So because of that, um, the freshmen that have stepped up have really done a good job. How tough has it been just to deal with all the different combinations y'all had to use in the line because of the injuries to Barrett, Jay, Sean, Marcus, and everything? Um, it is tough, you know, to just get in sync with certain people. Um, that's definitely, you know, that's definitely what you want as offensive line to just be with the same guy all the time, understand how he plays. But like I said, I mean, you know, we we hold each other to such a high standard; it's not much of a drop off. You know, I trust Jay Sean as much as I trust. Dylan Wiseman or, or Matt Crowder or anybody else that's playing next to me. So uh, with that in mind, we can actually go out there and, and play and not be worried about who's next to you and, and what's going on with him. How much Coach would... Jones said that you pretty much define what a ball for life means. What does that mean to you for him to say that? Um, I'm really happy he said that. And I feel like you know, that's what I try and do every day is just try and, try and be that for, for this team. And you know, for all the guys that you know, need an example, um, just try and set it for them and let them understand how important it is to to be a VFL and you know the tradition that comes along with it and how many people are really looking up to you. So um, I just try to make that evident and try and come out here and do my best every day. Did how you emotional feel? do you expect them to be Saturday with Coach Pinkle going out? Last home game, he's been there over a decade. I know you've had two different head coaches here, but you could probably imagine. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it's going to be really emotional for them. It's a senior night also, uh, so last home game, last his last home game. Um, but hopefully, you know, we, we can go out there and just and just be able to work and, and do our jobs and, and not really pay attention to what's going on and um, just take advantage of every opportunity that's given to us. With Marcus being out, with Jay Sean being hurt as much as he has, I mean, did you feel you got to take that, that leadership role, even, even more of a leadership role because of the circumstances or – uh, yeah, for sure. Um, those guys, you know, got hurt and they're spending more time uh, getting treatment than they are on the practice field. So with that, it's, uh, it's you know, me and Mac, and that was it, you know, being out there and having to lead all those guys and, and let them know, you know, how you practice, how you play, how you get in the film room, how you study, um, all this kind of stuff. So definitely want to leave my mark in that way. and you know, make it to where they can teach the even younger guys that are coming up. And after all the criticism this line received earlier in your career, for you to be where y'all are, rushing, rushing totals being what they are, even with all the injuries, just how satisfying is it to kind of close your career the way you've been able to with what y'all had, had to encounter earlier? 
It's very satisfying. I mean, I, I, I'm very happy with the way the O-line's played. Um, the amount of progress that we've made in one year is incredible. Um, and that just that's just, you know, testament to how hard we work and how much, you know, effort we put into each and every day trying to get better. So I'm really happy with everybody in the offensive line room. And um, I'm happy with all the guys that, that run the ball and Dodge passing and, and everybody in the offense are, you know, making us making us even better. Butch mentioned that you've spoken to the red shirts, you red shirted. What, what do you say to Venzel Bulward, Jerish, and some of those guys that are having to sit out this year? Um, you just got to keep your head up and you can't look at it, look at it as um, something's been taken away from you. You got to look at it as something's given to you. Um, you're given an extra year. Uh, with that, I've been able to get my master's, which is what I'm working on this year. So I'm very happy that I got red shirted. I got better as a football player in one year. Um, and I definitely don't think I was ready at that point. Uh, it, it was hard when I first uh, figured out that I was getting a red shirt because it was, you know, you're not going to play football for a whole year. It's just going to be practice, which is kind of a hard realization to go through. Um, but you just have to, you know, keep the path and, and stay positive with all that and just know that in the end it's going to help. It really is. Because of the way Missouri's handled you all the last couple of years, how much of a measuring stick game is this for the line just to see how far you've come in the last year or two? I think uh, almost every game is, is like that. It's definitely measuring up to what you were before. Um, you know, each and every day, you don't stay the same. You either get better or worse. So, you know, that's how we look at it. That's how we looked at it when we played Oklahoma, when we played Florida, when we played Georgia. You know, are we better than we were before? Have we, you know, put in the hours to get better and has it worked? So, um, each and every game is, is like that. Thank you. Thank you.